All right, y'all, it's your boy, Fro Thizzle. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 1932 flick, White Zombie, starring Bella Lugosi. Here we follow Madeline and her fiancé, Neil. They land in Haiti and are taken to a lodge by their coach driver, played by Clarence Muse, in a really cool but small role. When these two arrive, they're introduced to the owner, Charles Beaumont. Long story short, Beaumont falls for Madeline and secretly wishes for her to be his wife. Beaumont meets with a mysterious man that's credited by the name of Murder or Legendre, played by the iconic Bella Lugosi. Beaumont wants to go to any extent to get Madeline to fall in love with him. Legendre says the only way that this can happen is to transform Madeline into a zombie with the potion. I forgot to mention that we see zombies early on in the film and are operating around a sugar cane mill operated by Legendre. Beaumont agrees, takes the potion, and puts it in Madeline's drink. But not long after she takes the sip, she dies. At night while everybody's gone, Beaumont and Legendre steal Madeline's body from her tomb. The fiancé Neil returns to see Madeline's body and is of course broken to see her gone. He meets up with the pretty goofy old smoking man by the name of Dr. Bruner, who's also a missionary preacher. Bruner's the one to tell Neil of who this Legendre guy is and how he turns people into zombies, mainly his rivals, and how they become Legendre's protectors. Bruner decides to help Neil and they're on their way to Legendre's castle. Near the end of the film, we see that Beaumont eventually regrets what he did to Madeline. He's asking Legendre to turn Madeline back into a human and Legendre with his creepy villainous grin is saying no. Beaumont also discovers that he's slowly transforming into a zombie as well. And since Madeline is under Legendre's voodoo spell, when Neil and Bruner show up, Legendre commands Madeline to kill Neil. And just when she's about to kill her fiance, Bruner stops her in time. Legendre orders the zombies to kill Neil, but Bruner knocks him out, and this breaks the overall spell from the zombies and Legendre. The zombies start walking off the cliff since their control is broken. Legendre wakes up and comes to his consciousness, but Beaumont tackles Legendre off the cliff and they both fall to their death. Legendre dying also unleashes Madeline from her voodoo spell and she's back to normal with her fiance, Neil. And that is the end of the 1932 flick, White Zombie. And my personal thoughts, I enjoyed this one. I was a little bit iffy about the overall plot with Beaumont seducing and trying to get Madeline to be his wife. And that made me not love the Beaumont character overall. But I thought the ending was very satisfying. Legendre and Beaumont both dying in a pretty cool way. I do like the zombies in the film, but I gotta admit, they look pretty goofy. And it could be because of the timestamp. But they have the blank stare look going on. And they do kill people, but when they do, it's off screen. But as goofy as they may seem or look, I did enjoy the zombies. Anybody who knows me personally knows how much I love zombies particularly flesh-eating zombies. But I wanted to pay my respects to this flick, mainly because this is the first movie with the term zombie in the title. Besides the zombie bias that I have, I did enjoy this one. And it's relatively quick. It's about an hour and seven minutes at that. Bella Lugosi is having a great time. He's obviously chewing up the scene. He's being a bit hammy and over the top, but he's very fun very snarky, villainous, creepy, all rolled up in one. And I could be wrong, but I read some trivia somewhere that said White Zombie was one of Bela Lugosi's favorite films. I just think the pay that he received for this movie wasn't great. Despite how much I don't care for the Beaumont character, I thought Robert W. Fraser did a good job. I do like John Heron as Neil. Sometime after Madeline dies, Neil's getting drunken in sorrow, and I thought it was pretty damn good acting from Heron. I did like Madge Bellamy as Madeline. She doesn't have a bunch to do besides being a zombie, but I thought she was good with what she was given. And again, as small as the role was, I did love Clarence Muse as the coach driver. And it was pretty cool to see a black actor with the speaking role around his time, 1932. And I even think he has the first speaking line in the whole movie. Love Joseph Cawthorn as the missionary preacher, Dr. Bruner. I thought he was one of my favorite characters. His personality was really fun. He's a smoking preacher. He's dropping a lot of cool thought-provoking dialogue. Bruner also has my favorite line in the movie. Your driver believed he saw dead men walking. He didn't. 
What he saw was men alive and everything but this and this. But despite how over the top he is, Lugosi has my favorite performance in the film. I recommend this film to other zombie aficionados like myself. I just thought it was really cool to see the film where it all started from. And I'm going to give the 1932 classic White Zombie a 9 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro Fizzle. Until next time, I appreciate you. Peace.